Welcome, everybody. Hey, what was that quiet sound I just heard? That was the ultralight <laughs> recharge mower working. Isn't it quiet? All right, hey, start that up again. Let me, let's, let's hear this. It's now, quiet. now that's actually, this is actually a lawnmower. It's actually a lawnmower. That's correct. This wow. is lithium powered, so it's very lightweight. This only weighs 35 pounds. Amazing, and this is what happens when you come to the National Hardware Show and you end up running into Jim Brody because talk about cutting edge technology for your yard and garden because when we're talking about emission controls, we're talking about saving fuel, we're talking about actually getting a cleaner cut on your lawnmower or from your lawnmower, you just can't go wrong with a recharge lawnmower, can you? That's absolutely right, Nick. Okay. Let's talk about some of the features here. What do we got going on? Absolutely, this is lithium power. So the very first thing, the whole unit only weighs 35 pounds. And I have to tell you, he's absolutely right about that because we actually had this lawnmower over here and I practically picked it up with one hand to put it on. So it is a light lawnmower. It absolutely is. The, the state of technology right now in the push mowers that are battery powered, they're using lead acid batteries. They weigh between 65 and 105 pounds. Nick, you've probably seen ladies out there that don't even weigh 100 pounds. You pick a hot day in summer and you're pushing something 100 pounds, that's not fun. No kid. Well, I, I kind of do that anyhow, but I know what you mean. Yeah, so what's happened? Now they have self-propelled units. And that makes it easier because it's doing all the work, except that's taking up all the energy of the battery. And for, in the same kind of a price point, you can have all these features, and it does so much more. It only weighs 35 pounds. Let me show you as an example down here. Here's the lithium battery. Okay. That weighs only four pounds. Feel that, Nick. Let me see that. Wow. Now, you, you, you said lithium. What what makes it so special? Okay, some of the advantages of lithium, there is no memory. Remember the old batteries where you had to drain them out down and charge them up? It took forever. You didn't know if it would work or not. When you put it away, what happens then is, Jesus, has it kept its charge or not? Lithium will hold that charge even when it's dormant for a long time. You know, I have to tell you, I have one of these little scooter carts that I roll around the yeah. halls over here. And if you notice, I didn't bring it today because because I didn't use all the juice up in it yesterday. All night long, I charged it and I got into it and it's like it didn't hold the charge. Wow. But with this, we're, we're, it'll do that. Absolutely, it will. This, this can be recharged 900 times. Oh. The average person does their lawn once a week, 40 times a year maybe. It's going to be 15 years of use. One of the questions you probably have had as well, how do I know how much battery energy is in this? There's an, an indicator light right here on the unit, so they can actually physically see how much charge that they have. That, that's really handy. But that doesn't necessarily mean, if, if it's showing like it has uh, uh, half a charge, that doesn't mean you still can't use the mower. Oh, you can continue using it right up to the end. Lithium power as well is right to the very end of the charge. It drops off in the last seconds. So you get peak performance throughout the whole charge. Okay, so we have this compartment here, and I see that the compartment does have a, uh, a closer it on it. Cover. But before we have a cover on it, there's uh, something hanging in here. This is a safety key. Because this unit is so simple to operate, we don't want anybody to inadvertently start it. You have to have the key engaged. Okay. So we have the we have the we have the key engaged, batteries in place. Battery only goes in one way. It only goes in the one and, way gently uh, and pops in, just uh, drops right uh, just in. like that, and then we then we close it. So when it comes time to use it, you're just pushing one button and pulling up, and now we're operating. Wasn't that simple? I still can't believe how quiet that is. That's that's exciting. It really it is. And of course, like with all lawnmowers, you still have to have your safety precautions. You don't go sticking your feet in there, feet in there, and fingers and things like that. Okay, but what about you know we have different we have different lawn lengths. So this is one-handed height adjustment. There are six settings. Look how simple that is. It takes seconds and you're done. Yeah, just that simple. So we have the one setting. Yeah. And then of course. Depending on how tall the person is, you could also adjust the, right. the handles. So on the handles, there's no assembly required on this. When you get it out of the box, the handle is already assembled. All you do is pull it up. You're going to then be setting the angle you want. Okay, and we're just setting this by pulling it out. You can set the different angles just by, so you select one, latch it on, and then what height you want. That's the only assembly you have. You could probably do that, Nick. I, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I just got to make sure I don't get my beard too close to the uh, to the thing get whopped up. Yeah, I had that happen to me once before. I just want to go there. Okay, and then um, this is the only. be a rear discharge mod. Uh, and I was, I was going to say, so we have a bag over here, and how do we take this out? Well, the first thing I'd like to comment just on a bag. One of the issues is always how much grass is in the bag. 
because if the bag is too full, all the clippings back up under the deck, and now you get the big chunks coming out the side, or you've just done the whole stretch, and you look back, and half of the grass hasn't been cut. There's a little flap in the back. I'll just turn this on. You'll see it flapping. See this yellow piece at the bottom? Right here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When that bag is full... Oh, that, look at that! Look, that little flap <laughs> when this, up, when, uh -huh. and it will tell you that's your signal. The bag is full. Time okay. To change me. Okay. So this little flap up here flaps up like that. You're going to have air coming out, maybe a little bit of debris to kind of get your attention. Yes. And then, uh, and then it's time to unload it. Right. That's correct. To do that, it's as simple as that. Uh, now you'll empty. You will empty this out and put it back on. Well, I, I gotta ask, ask you a question. Well, one of the things that we see in the world of lawn and garden nowadays is the fact that that we're we're talking about uh, recycling and reusing, and yes. mulching mowers are so important. Have you and, talked and, about that? The ultralight is also a mulching unit. Comes with a mulching plate, and it just slides right in the back. Instantly. And that's it. And okay. Now I'm mulching. Okay, so so what happens to the flap though? The flap comes down and holds that in place. Okay. So it's not going to be flopping all over? It doesn't flop up. Nope. Okay. This is a, there's enough pressure on this that will hold the mulching plate into place. It also now is much lighter because they don't have the extra oh, weight of the grass at the back. Very good. So it works perfectly that way. Very good. Okay. Uh, okay. So we have, the, we have the unit. It's operating and such. And, but you did mention earlier that we have to take and we have to charge it because this is a recharging kind of battery. Absolutely. So with that concept, we have, we have a... We have a charger, but this is not just any kind of charger. That's right. This is an Energy Star rated charger, so that it makes it very simple to do. You can charge the battery in the machine, or you can also take it out of the machine and charge it separately. That's very handy because then, while you're doing that, you can use another battery to continue on with the task to finish cutting your lawn. Okay. For those people that are also in the northern parts of the country, this is where they're going to store their battery inside over the winter instead of having to have the entire mower inside. So it makes it oh, much that's simpler. That's a good point. That's right. I've seen a lot of those, those uh, lawn mowers that do have that, and they're built into the unit. They're, right. Many other batteries are integral, and so when, they, when it comes time for the winter storage, they have to find a place inside in their basement to, to protect the batteries. Good, very good. Okay, um, we've got all of that. I mentioned a little bit earlier about the fact that you've that you you the, a lawnmower like this, especially with the power that it, it exerts. Yes. Uh, you have you still have a, a, a blade, and yes. a blade has to be maintained properly Absolutely. and and used. So what do we have here? So we have a replacement blade. This is a combination mulching blade. So the consumer after perhaps a few years, they want to have a nice sharp cut, better performance. They buy a replacement blade. Very easy to exchange. You know, that's actually a very interesting comment that you mentioned because a lot of times, you know, we figure that we're in this do-it-yourself society, and there are certain things where you just don't want to skimp out on. And the the blade safety is so important. Your blade gets knocked off, it gets dirty, it gets not dirty, it gets chipped or something like that. Sure. Don't worry about about sharpening it. Just go out and buy a new blade. It's so much simpler and your cut is going to be better. And by the way, with a sharp lawnmower blade, you are going to get a an even cut and it's not going to brown out on you. Right. Your lawn, your lawn's going to look better. And the other thing as well, Nick, and you're, since we're talking about blades, if it's a sharp blade, there's less energy usage of the battery. So you're going to get longer run time as well. Well, I actually see this as such an advantage, such a fun unit to use, because one of the things that we also forget is that we need to mow our lawns on a weekly basis. Yes. Uh, you go more than that, the lawns really don't like it. I mean, this, we always do it, but still, but you can get out there, you can zip along, you know you're doing good for the environment, you're not yes. burning a hole in the ozone or anything of that nature, and Recharge Mower are the leaders in this, and this is what really excites me yeah. about it. How do, right. how do we get a hold of you? Yeah, okay, you can reach us on our website, it's www recharge Look forward to hearing from you and thank you. All right, Jim, thank you very much. Pleasure.